for the torrential weekend rain caving in the roof of a local church just a few hours before services began. KMBC 9's Martin Augustine shows us what Bridgeport Community Church is up against now. Tons of water bursting through this corner of the church's roof, unable to drain away amid the incessant weekend rain. Up here, you know, it's just open sky. Here's Sam Newby is the pastor the here who got an early morning and, uh, call Sunday about all the water and the wreckage coming with it. The first th thing you do is say, okay, Lord, what are we going to do? First step is lining up the insurance issues and coming to terms with the fact cleaning this up will take a long time. Outside of the extensive cleanup and the massive repair that has to happen here comes another question. What happens next Sunday? And the Sunday after that, and the Sunday after that. Where does this church go? Services will still happen because the family of churches in Kansas City already well aware of the damage done to this Midtown House of Worship. And I just got off the phone with a pastor calling and letting me know that we could use their building um, to use our services if, we, if they needed to. So we are, we're going to take that week by week. And week by week is how they'll address the damage. Here, Sam Newby's carrying off a bucket full of rainwater, and this illustrates the biblical lesson running through his head since Sunday. Jesus said picking up the cross and following him isn't easy. Hardships come with it, sacrifices too. <laughs> this container where Newby's dumping rainwater, well, it's supposed to be the baptismal font. But for now, the wounded church needs it for something else. Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. And repairs to the roof may run more than a million dollars. The church is raising some of the repair money. We do have a link to their website at KMBC.com.